Yo, 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 what's up? Season 3 Reloader is about to drop and the patch notes already released. Now, thanks to Charlie Intel, big shout out to them. They always release this stuff. They haven't been official yet, but these guys are always on point with their information. So let's jump in to the most important things of the patch notes. Number one, the time. Season 3 Reloaded update will go live on all platforms May 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific time. If this time has not happened, I'll be live streaming the countdown. So check that out. The size. PlayStation 5, 14 gigs, PlayStation 4, 14 gigs as well, PlayStation Series 15, sorry, Xbox 15 and 15, and PC 15 gigs. So fairly uh, small uh, file size compared to the other ones. One of the new things they're going to add is two events. So over the, around the map, you'll be able to find these base camps or a CIA base of operations. And you can go in there and kind of like complete the missions and collect dog tags. And this will allow you to, it says, unlock a greater reward, which is probably going to be something like a skin. So there's a new mode called Power Grab, and Power Grab is going to be a limited time mode, and it is kill confirmed with Warzone kind of combined together. So basically, there's going to be no more Gulag, but you grab dog tags, and dog tags are dropped when enemies die. Once you collect enough dog tags, you will have enough to kind of like personally respawn your own teammates. So it's kind of like Warzone with kill confirmed with a twist, and maybe we'll get some exciting gameplay out of this. Let's take a look at the gameplays, uh, the playlist, sorry. So they're going to be adding for Dance Power Grab, Plunder Quads, Rebirth Island Resurgence Trios, and they will be removing, the most importantly, is Verdant's Mini Royale. Another one is they're going to be adding the new point of interest called Nakatomi Plaza, which was the headquarters of the kind of like a, of the Die Hard movie. So it's going to be a really big building, and we're going to see if this is going to be like a limited time or if they're going to keep it here, and how interesting and how many rats will we find in this building. And just kind of like I was talking about, there's some two points of interest in uh, survival camps and the CIA outpost. There's also a new combat bow being added to Verdansk, kind of like the normal battle royale plunder and power grab and we can see rambo holding it here and it'll probably work similarly to how it works in cold war and the other black ops universe now a very important change they're doing is they're going to be changing stopping power now they're not changing anything with the recoil or the uh damage but what they are changing is they just tell us that they substantially reduce the amount of spawning that you'll see in the map so basically the amount of spawns that you'll see in this map is going to be significantly reduced and again they didn't tell us how much but i really wish they would give it more recoil and they'd also do the same thing to um i'd, I'd also wish they do the same thing to dead silence because i feel dead silence also really really op sometimes even more op than stopping power because not hearing your enemy is pretty goddamn op now let's go into some of the new weapons they're going to be adding so they're going to be adding the ballistic knife which is basically the double knife that you got like this and you can kind of like shoot it and I don't know if it's going to be like a two shot kill. I imagine because one shot kill when somebody's got full armor <laughs> might be a little bit too OP. We're going to have to see how this is going to work out in the battlefield. And we also got the new AMP 63 pistol. And what it says right here, expect this weapon to output high amounts of damage in a short period of time. Thanks to its full auto nature, which, may, which makes it a highly effective in close quarters. So we're going to see how this akimbo works and maybe it destroys the same way the Psychov did. Now, this is one of the things I was most expecting about. You know, I love the, the nerfs and buffs. This is one of the, the most important things. This is what really changes the game. All these other minor things don't. The nerfs and buffs is what changed the way and how Warzone feels. And they said they were going to nerf and buff Modern Warfare weapons, but they didn't actually touch them at all. What we got here was a kind of a bigger buff than a nerf to the AK-70U. So they increased the neck damage multiplier from 1 to 1.4, which is actually pretty significant. And, but the most important one, sprint to fire speed has been increased by 20%. They reduced bullet velocity and maximum damage range. As they're explaining here is that they feel that the bullet velocity and damage range aren't that highly important. But the most important thing is how they've been moving these other SMGs, which is with speed. So that's what they're going to be giving to the AK-70U. So we're going to have to test it out and see if speed is more important than damage now they're also giving a little bit more of a buff to the ppsh and i kind of like this um they, they were kind of right they like buffed it a little bit and it felt better but it didn't feel good enough so now they're going to be increasing the maximum damage again from 27 to 28 also the maximum damage range increased by 3.8 percent so let's see if this other minimal buff will help it out a little bit now also the cold war snipers have been adjusted so the sniper rifle charlie semi-auto this is the m82 the bullet velocity has been increased by 14 percent God damn, this is a pretty big, this is a significant increase. Extremities multiplier increase from 0.9 to 1, and rate of fire decrease 
from 0.33 to 0.83. Now, this was a pretty big change. This is like a big buff in terms of the blow velocity. It's gonna be a lot easier to hit your targets, but the, the, the fire rate will be a little bit slower. So they wanted to turn the sniper into more of the true buffy feeling sniper that you should feel when firing this. They fixed the, L3, the, the, the Tundra, this is now going to be significantly better. One of the most important things was the aiming stability, so they increased that significantly. I did feel the stability on this was just ridiculous. I mean, you were like, it's like if you just ran a marathon and you're just looking all over the place. Next up, we got the Swiss K31. One of the most important things is it had too much flint, but now they're going to be increasing the flinch resistance. ADS speed increased slightly. And now, and aiming stability increased as well. And I think, I already felt the Swiss was an amazing sniper, but with these three little buffs here, it's gonna be even crazier. I don't know, but I love the K31 on my part. Now they're doing the same thing with the ZRG 20 mm the same what they did with the M82. So they're basically giving it bullet penetration upper torso. They're giving it more damage, but they're decreasing the ADS speed, decreasing the bullet velocity, decreasing the movement speed, and decreasing the ADS movement speed. So they're giving it a little bit more damage, but they're decreasing the movement a little bit because it, you, you could move a little bit too fast with the sniper, but now they're going to be even making it feel more like an anti-material sniper but again you're going to be moving a little bit slowly and that was it as far as the nerfs and buffs one of the most important one here for the attachments i'm not going to go over every single one of them but the very very important is now the suppressor for cold war weapons the suppressor no longer reduces bullet velocity it now increases bullet velocity it now increases ads speed and it increases sprint to fire speed so this is pretty important because a lot of people like to use the gru suppressor for your your SMGs, but it made your movement a little bit slower. So now you can use a suppressor without hindering that bullet velocity and moving a little bit faster. So I think the suppressor is going to be the new way to go if you want to use an assault rifle or an SMG and be a little bit more aggressive than you would with a GRU suppressor. We got a bunch of changes here to the lasers and it, I, I, you can pause it here and read if you want. I'm just going to scroll through these, but I don't really think a lot of these are important. They're just making a few changes here and there. But besides that, as, as you guys know as well, they're going to be adding Rambo to the launch and as well, John McClane, they will be adding that to the launch. And as you guys can see here, no Rambo and John McClane are brand new Call of Duty operators. These are not skins for previously released operators, which is something really cool that I like. We're gonna have to see how much they cost or uh, how do we achieve them. And these are some of the packs that you'll be able to get. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out.